Right, in this video I'd just like to show you how to use the back gear on the MyFed ML7. And this is for uh, people that have just bought the MyFed ML7 or those that are new to the lathe on how to engage and disengage the back gear assembly. So this is the back gear lever here which you pull out and lift up and put into this hole here. Um, you don't do that until you've disengaged the gear at the top here um, using this allen bolt. So I used a shortened allen key which I just put on the grinding wheel so I can actually fit it in to the allen bolt head there. I'm trying to miss the camera as well so put that one in. And then I simply undo it a quarter of a turn and pull the assembly forward. Just loosen it a little bit more. Bring it right the way forward and then lock it up again. It's a bit of a fiddly job but that's it. Just like that. So now the gear at the front here is disengaged from the back part of the spindle and as soon as I engage the back gears you might have to um, move the gear a little bit so that it goes into the tooth or engages in the teeth properly like this and then I cover it with a thick engine oil and start the spindle up so what that's doing when I unscrew that and pull that forward, it's pulling forward a toothed mechanism. This is a spare part that I have. When it's loosened, it slides forward and then I lock it in position so it can't um, fall back on the um, gear. It disengages this gear from the main spindle here. And then the back gear can drive the gear here and it runs much slower than the normal speeds if it was running directly on the actual spindle. So this is the assembly here and that goes right the way through the gear here and the tooth part locates in this gear for driving the spindle directly and is pulled forward to disengage from that so it drives indirectly from the back gear. So like I say I covered it in a thick engine oil make sure it's well oiled all over and now I can start the lathe. And you can see there I can get a very low speed. I can actually go lower than that, I think. I can go to about 15 RPM. And that's got amazing torque. I couldn't actually stop that by hand if I wanted to. And you can see there that I can actually stop the um, spindle with the um, key or the allen bolt in the right position already. If it was around the other side when I stopped, all you do is take down the back gear lever and then obviously turn this one round ready to engage the main spindle gear by loosening this off slightly and pushing it in. So slacken that one off.
and joggle the spindle around a bit until it engages in the gear. It must go right the way forward or right the way towards the spindle there. And you have to be careful that when you're doing the Allen bolt up again that you don't bring it forward at all. It must be pushed well into the gear for those teeth to engage in the actual gear. Lock that up nice and tight. And now I'm back in the main spindle mode. And it's as simple as that. 